Chapter 11 A Look Inside the Body Internal Organs We have many different tasks to do. We use certain specific parts of the body to do them. Can you recall? Which parts of our body do we use for the following? We use eyes for seeing, legs for walking, ears for hearing, and hands for writing. What is meant by external organs? Give some examples. Organs on the outside of our body are called as external organs. Hands, legs, eyes, and ears are examples of external organs. Which parts of the body are called sensory organs? Why are they called so? Eyes, ears and nose are some of the sensory organs of our body. They are named as sensory as they help us to sense the situations around us. A part of the body that is used to perform a certain function is called an organ. We use our legs to walk. Hence, our legs are our organs for walking. We use our ears for hearing. Hence, our ears are the organs for hearing. Organs on the outside of our body are our external organs. Ears, nose, arms and legs are on the outside of our body. Hence, they are our external organs. They can be easily seen. Organs that make us aware of the situation around us are called sensory organs. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin are our sensory organs. Many functions of the body go on inside the body. A network of blood vessels is spread throughout the body. Blood flows through them continuously. The air we breathe in is carried to all parts of the body through the blood. The food that we eat is digested. These functions are carried out by different organs called internal organs. Internal organ An organ that is situated inside the body. It cannot be seen from the outside. Special Places for Internal Organs The organs inside the body that perform certain important bodily functions need to be secure. The structure of our body is such that our internal organs can remain in their places no matter how much we move. There are hollow spaces for these organs inside the head and the torso. They are called cavities. The cavity inside the head is called the cranial cavity. The cavity in the torso has three parts. The cavity in the chest is called the thoracic cavity. The cavity inside the abdomen has two parts. They are the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity. All the internal organs of the body are situated in these cavities. They are situated in such a way that they will not leave their places and move here and there. The esophagus. Can you tell? This man is filling the water from the tap into a drum. The drum is some distance away from the tap. Still, the water from the tap is flowing into the drum. Why is this so? We use our mouth to eat our food. The tongue tells us the taste of the food. We chew food with our teeth. As we chew it, our saliva mixes with the food. As a result, the food forms a moist ball. We can easily swallow this ball. This food passes through the throat 
and eventually enters the stomach. The organs that bring about the digestion of food are in the abdominal cavity. There is an organ called the stomach which is used to store for a short while the food we have eaten. There is a tube-like part that carries the swallowed food item from the throat into the stomach. This part is called the esophagus. The wall of the esophagus is flexible. This makes it possible to carry the food from the throat to the stomach easily. The esophagus is also called the gullet. It is situated in the thoracic cavity. Use your brain power. The organs which help digest our food are in the abdomen. Only the esophagus is in the thoracic cavity. Why? Answer. Because esophagus does not help in digestion of food. It is a tube which helps for passage of food. How are the flexible walls of the esophagus useful? Answer. The flexible walls of the esophagus are useful in smooth movement of food from food pipe to stomach.